Hey guys, this is Brandon from Fathom Offshore. Got Andy from Fathom Offshore as well. I'm fixing to introduce our friend Wes from Island Tackle. So we're uh, day one at our Fathom cast. Since we're not going to be in Orlando yeah. this year, we didn't have to drag the truck and trailer down. We didn't have to set anything up, but we did decide to set up our showroom here at our home office in Wilmington, North Carolina. So we're going to jump right in. We got our first customer here. Uh, again, this is Wes from Island Tackle in Carolina Beach. Thanks for coming in, Wes. Yeah, first I just want to thank you for bringing the show to me this year. Absolutely. I don't, I don't have to travel. I don't have to go anywhere. It's just <laughs> yeah, right cheap across flight. town. Yeah, yeah cheap flight. Enough. You'll have to get sick on the flight or anything. Yeah. So. <laughs> and there wasn't any excuse that I couldn't come right here. <laughs> right. That's it. Right? Exactly. Yep. But there's no happy hour, though. That's the only True. unfortunate thing. Not yet. When there's, we shut the camera yeah. off, we'll yeah, do that. Four, four That's plenty of time. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Wes is actually... Uh, him and his family started, or they bought Island Tackle 20 years ago. So That's tell us a little bit about that, Wes. Uh, my family bought the business in May of 2000, and I've been there since day one. Fully took over in 2008. Shortly thereafter, we started selling all the Fathom stuff. Yeah. Not our, all of this, but variations. Yeah, one of uh, our first, you were our first customer. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Mm -hmm. Gave us that's a lot right. of advice, yeah, what to do, did. what not yeah. to do. Yeah, definitely helped. Kind of I, I, I remember the meetings bit. before you even started the company. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, so yeah, you're right. When it was We've just been there dream. all along. Long time ago. So I'm seeing a lot of hot, new, fresh stuff here. Uh, yes, some of so it I've seen sneak peeks before, but a lot of it is brand new. Well, for like Wes's market, we got a lot of uh, mahi, blackfin out of your market, and so we've added a lot of new uh, half pint lures. A lot of you guys may have seen some of those. I think that would be a real hot seller for you down there. We've added a brand new lure. This is a really nice lure that we've uh, just come out with called the Bubble Trouble. It's got a little bit of uh, flash underneath of it. Uh, this is actually a custom combo, so I won't have that one, but just for July. It's our little uh, 4th of July yeah, special. Yeah, well top. But we got five new colors coming out in that. Um, what else do you think about that lure there, Andy, that's, that's hot? Um, yeah, the nice thing about that guy is it's, it's a lightweight lure, so um, it's perfect for those guys that just definitely want to be pulling ballyhoo in their spread. They can kind of mix it in at dead bait speeds. It's really good at that you know, four, five, six knots, so speeds that guys are typically pulling ballyhoo, so it's super lightweight um, and kind of gives them the ability to start mixing some plugs into the spread. So um, this has been a really good one for us. It's produced a lot of meat fish. That tuna dolphin wahoo um, stuff has just been real good. Nice. Yep. Well, that's a Superman lure right there. Yeah, so yeah red, white, yep. and boom, I think is the name of that red, one. Red, white, and boom. Yep. Um, we also got some bigger stuff coming down the pipe too, like this guy here. So this is our Calico Jack Slant. Um, in a brand new colorway called Tinker Mackerel. So um, I'm this sure it's like a real fish. <laughs> <laughs> just like it, just like it. Um, I'm sure you've known that the, uh, especially around here, that the greens and blacks have been super productive for, yep. for blue marlin recently, yep. especially in the tournament season. Um, so we kind of wanted to take one of their um, primary uh, you know, feeding fish, the tinker mackerel, and kind of design something that looks a lot like that. So it's got those bonita bones on the back. It's got a light green dye in the head. Um, it's got the bonita bones that run down the back, a really good silver and black skirt combo on it. Um, this will be available in all large and uh, most of our medium uh, sizes as well. Nice. So those are going to be super. Yeah, yeah, I think it'll be a good one for us. Um, and talking about new colors, um, you know, we do make all these skirts uh, here in the Carolinas, I'm sure as you've kind of seen in the back. Um, so we're not really limited to what we can do and we really wanted to flex our muscles a little bit on that so we kind of added um, we're going to be adding about seven to ten uh, new colorways that are going to be available you know for dealers like you guys and online as well um, this here's that b liner combination which has been one of the top uh, wahoo producing colors over the past few years um, and we've gotten a lot of feedback about people wanting um, kind of a yellow fin combo so we did that with pearl um, it's got some gold dust veins blue dust and black on it um, some ice blues, some UVs, and Show chartreuse. This. this is yeah. So cool. so this is uh, actually uh, a UV base. Mm -hmm. um, so when you go to put that in the water, it reacts with the sun. Um, people see UV in certain degrees. Fish see it in certain degrees. They're a little bit more responsive to it. Um, Have you seen this? Brand new to me, man. I mean, I didn't even. I've never seen this before. He just pulled it out of the bag somewhere. That's it. That was top secret. Uh, but secret's <laughs> out now. Um, so uh, it's it's been a good one for us, and I think it'll be a, a top producer for the billfish guys as well. 
Well, and as Andy mentioned, we do make everything here in house. And one cool thing about that is we get feedback from all over the world. Like, hey, have you guys tried this new color? This thing's really working. Or captains that travel up and down the East Coast. Yeah, I'm sure if you've asked travel a, up and down the East Coast, yeah, asked a captain a question, you've probably heard a hundred different answers <laughs> yeah. on what you need to be making and what you right. need to be carrying. But it's good to get a lot of feedback. Yeah, right? but the truth is in the numbers too. It's That's like right. We sell a ton of this one color. Like, man, we might ought to add that to the stock because yeah, that mm -hmm. thing is really producing. So we're able to see those on the front end and really try to like adapt, come out with some new customs to yep. meet that demand. And uh, so it's been really good. We also just added some new uh, small boat. Uh, we call this an ECM chain. It's an epic squid chain and it's a great little lure for mahi and little black fins. We got it in a wide range of new colors in that. Uh, it comes in at under 40 bucks for a rig kit. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it, man. All ready <laughs> to go. Ready to go. So it makes a great little teaser slash lure to put on your uh, put on your small spread and um, also I wanted to mention some of our new hats too because Wes has been killing it on our new pocket. <laughs> Sold. <laughs> Sold that one. But no, Wes has been a great customer of ours for apparel. We've added some new hats. Mm -hmm. Andy designed all of our hats. I try to tell you about them, but I'd get them wrong. So <laughs> what, what do we got going on? Uh, yeah, we're so adding like a canvas. It is. It's like, um, you know, similar to that waxed canvas style. Mm -hmm. uh, that one there has a microfiber kind of interior patch to it with Sonic Weld logos. So we kind of wanted to add some of those fall colorways that you're seeing um, here in front of us. So these two are kind of that waxed canvas look, and you kind of get that in these as well here. Um, leather patch, applique, Sonic Welds, and then obviously um, our signature Lure IF logo that's always been a really good seller in a couple new colorways as well so um and we think those will do well and, and hopefully you know get to see them in island tackle here soon yep well, maybe this afternoon <laughs> <laughs> that's right so uh if you haven't ever been to wilmington or carolina beach before we highly recommend you come check out the area wes is one of the top uh shops in the area and one of the top fishermen in the area so if you want to come down and do a little fishing give him a call uh he's Again, in Carolina Beach, Island Tackle. Wes, we really appreciate you coming by today, man. It's been great seeing you. Yes, sir. Give them a bonus hat, too, to go yeah. with it. I'm and one, this one, here. one last thing I forgot to tell you is uh, everybody's favorite thing about ICAST is always getting free stuff. Always swag. the free stuff. What's free? Nice. It's the What's first free? question. Like, hey, you want to yeah. buy something? No, what you got for free? So, anyway, we got, uh, we're going to be doing some giveaways this week. All you got to do is like and tag two friends below on our video and we'll uh, be selecting people all week long we got this really awesome yeti cup here and we hope you guys like your our videos give us some feedback give us some questions if you have anything we'll try to hit you up and check us out all week thank you very much thank you